Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're looking at a question about an infed half-wave antenna from Lawrence Plum, WA2TLY. He says, Dave, always enjoy your show, but not sure I agree 100% with everything. Well, not 100% mistake-free. But I know you are more knowledgeable than I am. Well, I, I don't know that to be the case. <laughs> I just got done watching the end-fed half-wave 80 through 10 antenna, and I'm struggling with some aspects of the antenna as well. But my question is, why do we even need an inductor or coil in the antenna wire to begin with? Also, I can't get the SWR below 2 to 1, so I'm going to try adding the counterpoise. But I am unclear if this should be just a freestanding length of wire or I should try to ground it. Being on the second floor, RF grounding is not very good or efficient. From Larry Plum, WA2L, uh, TLY. TLY. Well, let's, let's look at that antenna. Uh, first of all, let's go out here so where we can see the entire board. Okay. The NFED half-wave antenna made by my antennas, myantennas.com, is um, there's a toroid, there's a couple turns down here, and then there's, and it's an auto transformer, so there are a couple turns here, there are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and now we need to double that. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 8, 8, 14. 14. 14 turns to 2, or 7 to 1 turns ratio, which is a 49 to 1 um, impedance ratio. Okay, so here you've got your input. And this right here is your output, and uh, 50 ohms here, this is 2450, something like that, ohms. Okay, it's uh, quite a bit higher, and this goes to the end of the wire, which down, goes down to the end. Now, the question is what to do here. Um, this is a, there's a place here where you can connect a counterpoise. Now, in most people's installation, if you do this the way I've been telling you to do it, you will have your antenna feed and your coax will come to ground, the ground, the earth ground. And it will go through a lightning arrestor and then it will go back up to your shack. This to here, which is from here, note that's connected to that, that down to there, then uh, this is ground down here, gives you a nice counterpoise. And that's the way when I hook mine up, I do, I've got a 50 foot antenna coming to ground over here. And so that 50 feet helps as, as the counterpoise. If that does not work for you, you may add an additional counterpoise. They suggest that you hook this to ground, if that's not too far out of the way. Or it can be a 10 to 25 foot length of wire just hanging down. Okay, you can experiment with the length and see what it does for you. A counterpoise is different from ground. Ground is ground is ground, it's zero volts. A counterpoise is capacitive it will store energy in a capacitive field and give it back at a later time. And that's when it, uh, when it needs it. Um, either one will work in this case. If you do connect it to ground, you change the nature of it. You may find it works really well connected to ground, but then if you disconnect it, it doesn't work at all. You know, in other words, you're going to have to experiment a little bit. But if you've got a ground, a real live, ground rod in here 
uh, you're going to be in pretty good shape. Now, the question he raised, why are there other inductors? There's one little sneak inductor a few feet in right here that goes for a few turns. It has a small amount of inductance and an even tinier amount of capacitance right here. And that moves the, if you look at, uh, well, you've got 80, 40, 20. What this does is it moves the 80 meter frequency up a little by providing some loading, okay? It affects the other bands too, but not so much. But it's mostly for the 80 meters and um, it's just there. Now, some guy was unhappy because the on the uh, my antennas, uh, by the way, my my antennas uh, uh, antenna is going to be the subject of a future giveaway. Um, but if you put this um, forgot what I was going to say. Well, let's just not say anything then. Okay, so this tells you a little bit. The inductor, it's actually an un un. Okay, it's unbalanced here. This is the shield. This is the hot. And this is the hot. And this is the shield. Uh, when you think it's working by itself without something, it's actually using the shield on the coax as a counterpoise, which is fine. I've used it that way and it works just fine. Okay. So, um, I think that's it. There we have it. Let's see. So there we have it. We show that the uh, coil, what the coils, are, various coils are used for in the 8040 and fed halfway from myantennas.com. The uh, workmanship around here on this coil is magnificent. This is much simpler on this little spot here. And he kept breaking the wire on there. If he's breaking the wire, he's putting far too much tension on it. Uh, it should not break uh, with ordinary tension. Now, notice if you put this between trees, you've got to allow for the fact that trees move. Okay? So, I want to introduce a new feature of this channel. My study is filled with books and gadgets I've accumulated from having this channel, and it's time to thin the herd, so to speak. I'm announcing my first giveaway to hams in the USA. The item to be given away at this time is a book called Novel Antennas from the Radio Society of Great Britain. I picked it up at Dayton. Here's how the giveaway works. It's totally free to you. You send a postcard, QSL card, or a simple one-page letter by snail mail to P.O. Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. On whatever you send, make sure you include the giveaway number, in this case, number one, your name and call sign and shipping address. Please include your phone number in case I have questions. Please nothing else. Though if you want to send a picture of you and your station, I may be able to show those during the live stream. Electronic submissions will not be accepted. The drawing will take place on the live stream held on Thursday evening, U.S. time on August 26. Note that I pay the book shipping to you, so it's all totally free to you. I hope to do something like this every month. Note that after the drawing, all entries will be discarded and no information will be kept or transcribed. So there you have it. If you would like to help support this channel, you may do so by going to decastlercom slash support and picking a way that you find most helpful. Please also subscribe and click the bell and click like. Don't forget to comment. Until we next meet, 73.